sometimes your why is just because I don't want to feel like crap. <laughs> So when I was in my teens, think high school years, my motivation was recognition. External recognition with trophies. Back then they looked pretty cool, my MVP, whatever, on the shelf. Now they're just collecting dust in a box. But at that time I needed that external motivation. In college, it became more, it was fun, it was social, it was friendly competition. Staying active socially and just having fun. In my 30s, life became more real, right? I started having kids. Um, I started worrying more about weight management. Sometimes motivation is you want to not be large and in charge, right? <laughs> I needed that time away from home, so my motivation was release that stress, get some time away from home, um, which then helped my mood. In my 40s, so now where I currently am in my season of life, uh, I, my motivation is I like to sleep better. So the days that I really have a good workout, I sleep better, I have more energy, and I'm worried more about quality of life. So disease prevention. Thankfully, I don't have disease control, but um, in the future, as I age, as we all age, I want to be very cognizant of my health. I want to be a, a good mover. I want to be a fun grandma. I want to be the one that's taking my grandkids out on a hike or um, you know, playing with my grandkids on the floor, being able to get up and down off the floor. I want strong, healthy bones so that if I do fall, I don't break something. Um, and it helps with improved memory. Just all these things I can see to be my future motivation. But ultimately, through all my seasons of life, exercising has always helped improve my mood and helped me feel better. Make that list, consult it on the days you're not feeling super motivated, and as always, get yourself in the gym.